Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back in the kitchen today and I'm experimenting with some keto recipes. Today, I'm gonna try a little keto, kind of like an English muffin type bread that we can cook in the microwave in just 90 seconds and toast it up and put some butter on it and enjoy. So let's get started. This recipe calls for only five ingredients. We have one egg. We're gonna melt one tablespoon of salted butter. We're gonna do three tablespoons of almond flour. We have half a teaspoon of baking powder and a fourth teaspoon of salt. All right, I'm gonna start with my egg and just give it a little whisk here or beat that up. Mix it up well. All right, we have our egg lightly beaten. To that, I'm gonna add our melted butter. That was one tablespoon. I'm also gonna add our almond flour with our baking powder and our salt. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and combine the almond flour, baking powder, and salt. Just give it a little stir. And I'm gonna add that in with our egg and our butter. We're gonna combine this until it's nice and smooth. You can kind of see the texture. It looks a little bit like um, scrambled eggs, but we're gonna make this into a bread. I'm gonna stir it a little bit more, try to make it a little smoother, get some of those clumps out. And then I have got a little ramekin here. Um, this one's probably, what, maybe four inches wide. Um, we are gonna pour this. I lightly put olive oil in the bottom of my ramekin. And we're gonna pour this in. You can also do this in a coffee cup. If you just have a mug that's microwavable, um, then you can do it in the bottom of a little coffee cup. So we're gonna put our dough here. All right, so I have it all smoothed out in the bottom of our ramekin. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for about 90 seconds and see if it gets done. All right, this is what it looks like when you turn it upside down out of your mug or your ramekin. And it does look like just a nice little sponge cake almost on this side. Um, so I'm gonna to try to slice it through the middle. Hopefully it will slice well and we're gonna see if it stays together. All right, I used a serrated knife and cut clean through and it actually stayed together really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter in our pan and we'll get this fried. And I'm gonna start with a half tablespoon of butter. Okay, our butter is getting nice and melted in the skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and put in our half here. Let's see if I can't squeeze in my other half over here. All right, we're gonna let this uh, pan fry for just a few minutes and see how it looks. All right, so we've had it on the skillet for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it and see how it looks. Oh, it looks really nice. Um, it does look a lot like an English muffin. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and just toast that other side for just a minute and we're gonna give it a taste test. Well, there you have it. This is our keto English muffin. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and see how it tastes. I don't think it's gonna be quite like an English muffin, but I think it's gonna be a really great substitute for anybody that is looking to cut carbs or needs to have a gluten-free type option. I think this will work for you. So let's give it a taste. All right, here it goes. That's really not bad. It's very buttery, of course, because we cooked it with butter and we cooked it in butter. It's really quite nice and it's very nice texture to it. I do taste a little bit of the egg flavor, which I usually do with any type of um, keto bread, but it's not as eggy as I have had in the past. So it does taste a little bit more, um, almost like a, a cornmeal type pancake um, or a corn cake, but it tastes really good. I do like it. And there you have it. 
the Keto English Muffin. Give it a try and let me know how you like it and what you would do differently. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.